What are the five freedoms? Animal welfare in the UK has a long history, but concern about farmed animal welfare and assessing animal welfare really came about in the early 60s with Ruth Harrison's book about animal machines. This was often thought of as an expose of the livestock industry and the big changes it had seen since World War II. The changes in public attitude caused the government to ask for a report on the welfare of animals in intensive systems, and Professor Bramble then suggested the formation of a Farm Animal Welfare Council, who were founded in 1979. The Farm Animal Welfare Council produced what we now call the Five Freedoms, and these describe an animal's needs. The freedom from hunger and thirst includes providing adequate nutrition, for example, these cows are fed a balanced diet to allow them to produce enough milk for us, but also to maintain their own health. Their diet has a good mix of nutrients, minerals and vitamins. And in the back, you can see that they also have free access to a water trough. The freedom from discomfort is mainly about an animal's environment, ensuring that an appropriate environment is provided. This depends on what an animal's behaviours suggests that it needs. For example, these ponies have nice deep bedding in their stable when they're kept indoors, and plenty of room that allows them to lie down and stand up with ease. The freedom from pain, injury and disease talks about an animal's physical health. Pain, injury and disease should all be prevented if at all possible, but when they do occur, they should be treated promptly as soon as they are noticed. This lame sheep may need foot trimming, it may need painkillers, or it may even need antibiotics, and appropriate treatment should be decided by the vet and by the stock person. The freedom from fear and distress includes not just protecting animals from unnecessary stress, but ensuring that if they do face an environment with something they might find frightening, that they are given adequate training to help them. Young animals may need to be habituated to anything they might frequently encounter which might frighten them. For example, young pets might need to find out what a washing machine is. And finally, the freedom to display normal behaviour ensures that animals can fulfil their behavioural repertoire, and this includes being able to play or to forage or to eat in a certain way. The freedom to display normal behaviour is a sign of positive animal welfare. Unlike the other freedoms, this is something that we can do to promote good animal welfare instead of just preventing bad animal welfare. So to recap, the five freedoms are the freedom from hunger and thirst, the freedom from discomfort, the freedom from pain, injury and disease, the freedom from fear and distress, and the freedom to display normal behaviours.